All right, let's open up TIA Portal V14, and we're going to download the HMI to make sure that we can put the smart server on it. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to go over to Runtime Settings in the Project Tree. Click that. Once we get in there, we're going to go to Services, and then we're going to click Smart Server. Now we're going to re-download the HMI to enable it on the HMI. And now let's go over to the HMI and set a password. You have your HMI all happy. We're going to now shut down the runtime by pressing Stop Runtime. And or you can reset it. And then you're going to go to Settings. You're going to then go to WinCC Internet Settings. Oops. All right, now you're going to click on Remote. Make sure that the Start Automatically After Booting is set to On. And then you're going to go to Change Settings. And then here, you're going to have Password 1 and Password 2. You can either choose to have View Only or uh, you can manipulate the screen, which that will cause it to screen scrape, so you can press buttons and do whatever you want, or you can just View Only with that second one. Um, if you look over here, there's ports. That's very important if you're wanting to just go straight to the web browser. So now just reset, say yes. Now let's go back into Portal. We're going to go to our device and go to Device Configuration to figure out what the IP address of the HMI is. If you don't know it, click on the port. And then you're going to look at it, see it's 192.168.0.2. So now we're going to go to a normal browser. And remember that port, uh, it's going to be HTTP 5800 by default. So type in 192.168 uh, port 5800. And then it's going to come up with a VNC authentication. Type in the password that you just made. Mine was at AWC, so I'm going to type that in. Then I'm going to press OK. And now I have access to the HMI. All right, thanks for watching.